Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I got another review for you today. The Huan Qi, H-U-A-N-Q-I, um, 897B. Now, looking at the 897B, you'll say, oh, that's another clone of the CMX 5C. And yeah, it is. It's a low-cost, similar design quadcopter to the X, um, CMX 5C. The intent being, this is a lower-cost quadcopter. This one here is in the mid-20s. Um, and also, the intent here is, this is a primarily intended as a learn-to-fly quadcopter for beginners, a low-cost learn-to-fly outdoor quadcopter for beginners. Well, you can fly it indoor too, because the size is um, conducive for indoor flight if you wish. But I would recommend it for outdoor flying and learning the basics of flight outdoors with this. Um, the design of it is, again, similar to the X5C. However, it, it does have a camera holder. Um, looks like it's similar uh, to the pins and the holder of the X5C camera, although I can't vouch that the X5C camera would fit here. And additionally, it has a four pin uh, plug here. Uh, so it would be more similar to the WL Toys and JGRC type cameras uh, instead of the X5C camera. And I, there is a camera version out there. Unfortunately, I am not flying that version. I, I'm not interested in that version, actually. I want to see what this quadcopter is as a learn to fly quadcopter without camera. Let's forget about the camera, folks. And if you're a beginner, this might be a good quadcopter for you to learn to fly on. And I'm going to confirm that today in this flight. Um, it has an on-off switch, and it comes with X5C style batteries. X5C batteries, you know, 600 milliamp per hour. So there are plenty of batteries out there, spare batteries out there, if you wish to purchase additional ones. And they are cheap, since it is X5C style batteries. Um, again, on-off switch here. Let's go over the controller real quick. Controller feels kind of good in your hands, feels like a game player. This button here is for rates. This button here is for flips. This button here is for the camera version for taking photos or photos there and videos by pressing this button here. Uh, this button here is one key return. This button here is headless mode. And these are trim buttons for the pitch and roll stick. Um, the pitch roll sticks, there are no buttons incorporated into the pitch roll stick. So again, rates, flips and headless mode and one key return is the big one for this particular quadcopter well let's go into the flight of the this little quadcopter 897b <laughs> and see how it performs i got oh, one thing the lights on this are real pretty i although i'm not flying it at night um the this would be a great night flyer just wanted to mention that okay binding the quadcopter taken to the air trimming it up A little forward trim would have helped if I would have put it on a flat level surface but I don't really have flat level out here and I got a little bit of a wind here so let's see how stable it is very stable flyer Give it a little forward pitch here I am going to land it real quick I'm going to show you folks what you can do if it if it's drifting a little forward like it was doing there you can either to the left See what I'm doing, folks? Both sticks down to the left and both sticks down to the right. One of these is going to reset the gyros of that, so it should be stable now. And it is. Okay, we are in beginner rate. The first thing I want to demonstrate is we are going to go down the field a bit and hit one key return for those one people out there who are interested in one key return. One key return is activated. Maybe that's headless mode. Hold on. Yeah, one key return. Well, you got to hold it down. No, it's coming back. It's coming back. It does it real slowly in beginner's rate. Let's go down again. This time I'm going to hold the one key return button down. It's just slow. One key returns are slow. Let's go to higher rate and see if that changes it. Okay, we're at intermediate rate. Going down field again. One key return. And it comes back a lot faster. <laughs> so it depends what rate you're in. So just got beginner and intermediate flying rate. One more time with the one key return. One key return. And it's coming back. Okay, let's come down here where you can see it. <laughs> that was a quick <laughs> come down here where you can see it. So going out again, let's go into headless mode. Pulling it back. 
and I'm playing full yawn at the show that the direction of the quadcopters are relevant. That is forward. This is back. Actually, the direction seems to be drifting a bit. This is left. That's right. And coming out ahead of the smoke. Okay. Now, let's see the flips on this thing. Uh, with those um, prop guards on, the flips are a little bit sloppy. I'm sure if I took the prop guards off, they'd be a little bit better. But I'm leaving the prop guards on to show you what they look like. But again, if you, as soon as you get a little bit better and you're not crashing as much, take prop guards off. They're not really needed. So all in all, neat little quadcopter, 897B. And right now I'm giving a full forward pitch. Let me adjust it again. We're going to land one more time. And as before, down and out, down to the left, down to the right. If you pick up, this is picking up a drift, folks, and that's why I'm doing that. Let's take to the air again and see what, that fixed it up. That fixed it up. So if you pick up a drift where you got to give it too much control in any one direction, just your gyros. It's very simple to do. Okay, let's see this, its flight characteristics. Yeah, it can do relatively simple. <laughs> what do you call these um, funnels? Boy, the bugs are chasing it today. But it is a stable flyer for beginners. A little bit too much for it. <laughs> Again, it's those uh, prop guards are really messing up its stability a bit. So again, when you get good, take off the prop guards. I'm sh you'll enjoy the quadcopter a lot more. So let's see its range. Can I go around the, uh, the light? I guess I can. And its range is about 50 meters, folks. And what is the predictor range? 70 meters. I'd say it's about 50 meters, unless that light pole was blocking the signal. Let's go get it and continue the flight. Three, two, one. Okay, we still got light, so we got still still have power. They're not blinking yet, is what I'm saying. So again, down to the left, down to the right. Let's take off again. And let's get some thumbnails on this. Going to beginners right here. I want to hold it nice and steady for thumbnails. Actually, a nice stable flyer. <laughs> So yeah, again, this is a low-cost beginner's learn to fly quadcopter, and that's its intent. And I guess it does its job relatively well. You want something slow and stable, and easy, relatively easy to fly? Yeah, that, this will be it. One more time, over the head. That front light there is to help you in your orientation. If you can see it, you know it's pointed toward you. If you can't see it, the quadcopter is not pointed toward you. And in daylight, can you see it? Not very well. <laughs> oh yeah, I can see it. I can see it actually. And again, not really super acrobatic. Not meant to be staying in beginner's rate. Meant to be a beginner's learn to fly. Stable learn to fly quadcopter. And that it succeeds.
I'm just flying to see what its flight time is now. Just flying until it comes out of the sky. It won't stay up there anymore. Lights aren't blinking yet, so we still got power. Yeah, I think this one is about $28 with shipping. You know, you'll, you'll see it advertised for about 17 but keep in mind, its box is a lot, it's bigger than most boxes. So they have to increase the shipping price on it. I think the shipping on it's like $11 because of the size of its box. It's a shame. They should have made it smaller, the box smaller, so that you can, they could keep the shipping costs down. And then this would have been a super big hit. Showing you my finger movement as we're controlling it. Boy, it flies long. <laughs> One of those lights could have started blinking. <laughs> I know you folks are getting bored. more power for flip no more power for flip so that means we are getting close and yeah the light yeah the lights are blinking now so we got our low power warning and the throttle is getting a little bit higher you got to give it a little more throttle than normal to keep it up so that's warning us that yeah our battery power is getting low I better get it a little bit lower in the ground so in case it just drops out of the sky almost done with its battery power, and no, not yet. Its lights are blinking, but it's not coming down, and that tells me it, it might have not, what do you call it, low voltage cutoff, LVC, because it's continuing flying, so I am gonna land it there and say that that's it. I don't wanna damage that battery in case low voltage cutoff isn't working properly. Well, let's fly it. What the hey? <laughs> oh, there we go. Low voltage cutoff there. Finally kicks in. <laughs> so it gives you plenty of warning before it comes down. Got a lot of flight time out of this. Um, very stable flyer. Good for beginners. En enjoyed it. Uh, Hankui, one key. I can't pronounce it, folks. I'm sure a lot of people are going to correct me on that. Juan Key. 897B. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.